What's up Explorers? Today I have a new product that I'm still experimenting with and I'm kind of bringing you in here in the middle of the project. What I have here is two of the same thing. These are um, new hop-up units that I'm designing for the Silverback SRS sniper rifle. Let's open it up. Like I said, I'm bringing you in sort of in the middle of this project. Um, this is what I hope is the finished product and that's the hop-up unit and the parts you need to go with it. I'm actually on about, I don't know what, something like the seventh or eighth very version of it here this is the original metal unit that comes with the gun I have it removed uh, as I used it to reference and I will no longer need it once I get this installed so what is this and why do you need this and why do I need this and who cares this gun does come with a pretty cool um, innovative hop-up with uh, two adjustments one on this side one on this side and when you tighten the screws, it adjusts the hop from this side and this side, and you could really fine tune it to get the BB to fly straight. Now that's all good and well if you have about 250, 300 feet where you could uh, lay down, get set up, aim, get it figured out just right, make sure there's no wind, nothing getting in your way, no elements basically. And not a lot of people can do that, including myself. I have had to specifically go out take a long trip out to where I could finally tune this thing properly and I had wind so I wasn't even sure if I was tuning it right. I'm really liking this gun so I want to make it something I could use more readily and quicker switch between either different BB weights or um, maybe just over hop if I'm trying to get a little bit more range right there in the field. This is designed to be a one adjustment point hop up with the top here. At this stage, I'm still um, testing things and figuring things out. If you're watching this video, that means it worked out and you could pick one of these up on my Shapeway store at BrainExploreCreations.com. So let's take this apart and I'll show you what it comes with. So it's a sort of a five piece system. You need to cut one of these open so that you could get, um, you could get these pieces off. So this little container is actually what has the hop-up nubs. So kind of carefully cut it, make sure you don't injure the nubs. I'm gonna cut these corners and pop it like a hatch. All right, here we go. So this is a throwaway, get rid of it. These are the three or the five pieces you need, but you only need three of them. Uh, what you have here is different contour um, nubs. One is pretty much just the curvature of the inner barrel. One's a little more of an extreme V and then one's a really extreme V. You will also need one of these springs uh, and this can be taken from any pen, any one of those mechanical pens or pencils. What this is doing is it's replacing the way the BBs held from rolling back in the original hop-up. Here there used to be a no ring and I tried that same setup and my 3D printed piece and the, the o-ring would just not stay, it would keep coming out with the nozzle heads. So the spring goes in here uh, on the inside obviously, I'm showing you kind of on a cutaway version and when the nozzle head goes in it pushes it up, there's a cavity for it and when it comes out it comes back down and keeps the BB from coming with it. So this needs to be cut to about 1.1 millimeters that's the opening on the inside there and then it really is the trickiest part is shoving that in there so um, I'll show you to my best of my abilities, but just know you need to cut it down a little bit and inside there there's a track you need to put it into. I've cut the spring down a little bit to right about the right length. You don't really want any tension on it, otherwise it could protrude down and get in the way of stuff or stay permanently in that cavity. So now I'm going to get it in there. Uh, there's really no proper way to do it. You just kind of do it till it falls in, but once it falls in, it's not going anywhere. All right, that was pretty easy. I was actually surprised. You could see those little little teeth from the spring are in the way but 
they're no problem for the bolt and they keep the BB from coming back uh, when the bolts retrieve. So pretty easy to get in there and that's its only function. So the next step is to take your inner barrel. This one's been R hop. That's not necessary for this mod, but preferred. And you want to now get to this piece. By putting this on here, it guarantees perfect uh, rotational center alignment of the barrel. I, oftentimes this part is neglected by the manufacturers and I don't know why it seems pretty important to me because if it's a little off center your BBs are all going to be hooking to one side or the other. So just slide that on. Oh, you kind of have to spread it here in the middle. It's hard. It's a little tough doing this on camera because it's not exactly the most natural move. So you want to get it to that second notch. I'll try to grab on the first one, but you get it to the second one. And once it logs down, you can see it lines up with the center notch here. And it cannot really rotate. There's a little bit of play, but it'll all get taken out when we screw it down. So leave it on there. Next, you apply your patch. This one's been modified for our hop applications. So the groove and the nub bump have been removed. Just slide it on over. Next, what you want to do before you insert the barrel into the hop-up chamber is mark the center point here and just extend it out a little bit. It's already on there, but when it goes in, it's hard to see, so you just want to draw it out just about a centimeter or so, and it's just a reference point. After you have that, go ahead and slide it in. There's a notch here that aligns with the notch on here, so just keep it centered, and back it on in there slowly. Okay, so I had to slide the barrel in, took a little bit of effort, now it's all nice and lined up in there. You can see the bucking showing through here. So now on top of that, here as you can see that's the nub. It's a really aggressive V shape. That obviously goes in here if you haven't figured it out yet. So you drop it in, it should move freely. And that pushes down to give you hop. Now you need to lock this thing down. So for that, we're going to take the existing screws from the, the original hop-up unit. It comes with four. There's two adjustment screws and then there's two locking screws. You could easy, use either or. They're all the same. So take them out. This is where it's important that this middle part is lined up. Double check that. Make sure it's centered. And then you could see through these holes. I don't know if the camera will show it. But you could see the metal barrel through there glistening a little bit. Um, that's looking through the exterior of the hop unit and that support piece in there that we put in that centers it. So when you put the screw in, it'll go through both and guarantee that perfect rotational center alignment. So there's no threads on here. You just kind of force this thing in here. And eventually it will start threading in. It kind of makes its own threads as it goes. So just give it a little muscle. There we go. Grips. And now we're going in. Do that. I'm going to do the other side before I get too far on one side. I want to make sure they're both hitting the holes properly and aligning properly. Alright, that should do it. As you can see, they're sunk in there. So this won't get in the way when we're sliding into the outer barrel. Then go ahead and pull up the O-ring here. That gives you a further, more seal. Alright, so your hop-up unit is assembled now. What I'm going to do is, you can see there's a two track, there's a track here on the top that just denotes the center. I'm going to mark this one silver. And this will be easy to then line up the whole thing in the outer barrel when we slide it in. So at this point, your inner barrel is all assembled and ready to go into the outer barrel. Now, I can't really just shove it in there without mentioning a few things. As you can see, my inner, my outer barrel has been tapped. I use these taps here. These are really nice. Uh, what's really good about them is they come in different sizes. They're all inclusive. They have the drill and the tap at once. But to get this hole, I created a little jig. As you can see, it slides on there, and you could tape it down, hold it in place. These holes line up with the original 45 degree holes. 
You can put some bolt in there to keep it from rotating and then tape it down and then this jig allows you to exactly figure out the center between the two holes. So through there I drilled a pilot hole using a drill press. Um, that's good because the way this jig works it makes a nice flat surface. So you put it down and you come in with the pilot hole and then that will be your guide when you go to using one of these. When using these drill bits you want to use um, you don't want to use a press because it spins too fast unless you have a variable speed press but I used the hand handheld drill and slowly lowered in there so when doing it by hand with the handheld drill make sure you're going perfectly plumb up and down between the two openings that are there right now that jig will help you but you trust your eyes well when you're doing this so after you after you tap the holes you could remove this so now you have a threaded opening here as you can see and I used the number 6 by 32 drill bit I started with the smallest one just because if I screw it up I could then go to the number 8 if I screw that up, I could go to number 10 so this little drill set is nice because it kinda allows for mistakes and there's a metric version of it as well and I'll link to all of that in the description so once you have this tapped um, let's go ahead and put the inner barrel in and then I can show you how that all sort of works so this part is pretty straightforward slide in the inner barrel now I'm going to go ahead and take this center alignment screw this locking screw out so this way that's what the silver lines for when you're sliding it in you could now see if you're center, centrally aligned through that opening. All right, you can see this line's aligned here and through that opening I could see that little white line I marked. So I'm gonna lock it down. So there you go, now the barrel cannot rotate and it cannot move back and forth. Now when I lower this in here, I'm now adjusting hop. The last step is to modify the gun. So this part is actually pretty simple. Uh, if you got this far, this is sort of the easy part. So obviously we need a way to get to the outer slash inner barrel to adjust the hop. And to do that, we just need to make a hole here big enough between the two of them. The nice thing is there's a center uh, mold line or whatever assembly line here in between the two plastic pieces. And the opening also lines up right where this little hump ends. Mark it with a Sharpie and then go ahead and drill it. Again, I used the drill press just so I could have a nice, perfectly straight down hole. I used the magwell as a flat base to make sure the gun is perfectly up and down. The opening on my barrel here, the threaded part, was actually kind of loose, but when combined with this opening, it's a really tight fit. Once you drill this hole, you're now ready to assemble the whole thing back together, which is exactly the same way as it always been. So let's slide the barrel in. Obviously keep the adjustment screw opening up and the BB feed tray down. There it is, right in place. Lock the barrel in by turning it to the lock position. And then tighten the four locking screws down. Now I can insert the adjustment screw. What I did is take a standard black screw, number six, to match the, the threads we used, obviously. And then I ground it, grind it off the sides of it to make it a little flat, to make it easier to turn. As you can see, so it's a little bit of a handle, but for quick adjustments, I could still use a screwdriver to get in there. So now I can go and experiment with it and make sure the hop's working. I'm going to put the bolt back in. So there you go guys, that's how you modify the SRS to now. It's off to the testing. I have the top down hop adjustment, real easy. I could switch BBs without having to go and restage a perfect chrono situation every time. Check out brainexplorercreations.com if you want to give this a try. I make no guarantees. I basically just designed this for myself and my inner barrel. But that stuff is all pretty standard, so there's a good chance that it'll work for everybody. 
Links to everything you need to make this happen are in the description. Check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.